When Elon Musk bought Twitter for $45 billion, he had some ideas of what the platform could become. But before he added anything, he thought it was a good idea to do a little bit of housekeeping. And months before he bought Twitter, he was complaining on Twitter about the bot situation on the platform. What happens when you have an overwhelming audience of bots as opposed to normal people? The normal people get drowned out by things that don't actually exist or people that are trying to scam you out of crypto or people that are promoting something. Every single one of Elon's tweets that he posted immediately had a crypto scammer pretty much with the same profile as Elon. Elon's name, similar look, similar feel to Elon as the first comment. And what they would do is they would say, hey, if you send us 0.25 Bitcoin, we will send you five Bitcoin, you know, something like that. A typical scam. It's the Nigerian prince thing. You know, you have to send us $5,000 in order for us to unlock $2 million in your bank account. And Elon was getting fed up with it. So when he took over Twitter, one of the first thing that he said that he was going to do is delete the bots, you know, but first there is another thing that he has to get to. That's the old users on the platform. People that don't use their accounts anymore. Basically, dead usernames. So Elon Musk will be removing 1.5 billion usernames from Twitter in the coming weeks, as well as adding a new feature. And this is an important step for Twitter because those 1.5 billion users aren't actual people. And this is why it's important. Those accounts, they may count towards advertising. If you can say you have X amount of billions of users that the product could reach, some advertisers might say, hey, that sounds like a great idea. And if you inflate those numbers by 1.5 billion users, because those users are on the platform, but they're not actually active, they haven't been active in years, then of course, Elon says, that's not right. That's not fair. It doesn't seem like the right thing to do to hold these accounts in the platform and also talking to advertisers, telling the amount of people that are on the platform, it's a lie. You know, that's what he's feeling at this point. So 1.5 inactive billion users will be deleted from Twitter and those accounts will be freed up. So those usernames will be available. He also said that he would add a feature that would allow Twitter users to see the number of people that read or interact with their tweets. If you see a number of people that interact with your tweets, say if you, you know, somebody gives you a heart, that's great. How many people see all those stats? Not many at this point, but if you can see how many people actually read your tweet, that's great. You have some statistics, you have some numbers to go by to see what actually works on the platform. And these kind of statistics have been available on platforms like YouTube and also podcast platforms, things like that for a very long time. And those kind of metrics are important to sort of shift your focus to your audience, because even though you may have a voice, your audience might not be okay with some of the things that you say. They might not be into some of the things that you say. I should actually clarify there. So they might not be into it. So say if, say if I'm talking about Cybertruck, Cybertruck's really cool. It's one of the coolest things that I've ever seen, but. Some of my users, some of the people that listen, some of you out there may not like Cybertruck. And I have to see what kind of statistics are in the back end to see if actually somebody wants to listen to the episode. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen with Cybertruck in the next six months? Well, if I make a podcast about it, some people might love it, but some people might not. And I have to see those numbers in order to kind of grow the podcast and grow the platform. So that's what Elon's doing with Twitter. And it comes back to, free speech, what's available, are these people real? Do you want to lie to your advertisers? Because I mean, hundreds of millions of dollars per month or per year from Apple, you don't want to lie to Apple. You don't want to lie to Tim Cook about the amount of users that are on your platform. That's just weird. Elon tweeted, tweets will show view counts in a few weeks, just like videos do. Twitter's much more alive than people think. Because think about it, when you tweet something, it seems like it's just a static thing. You don't really get all the back end stuff that's going on. You just get to see your tweet and then who comments. And then maybe you can comment on those comments, retweets, you get those kind of things or shares. 
you get those kind of stats, but you don't really get to see how many people have actually viewed your tweet because you could have a million views on your tweet. And that's important because then you can use the platform as a way to earn money. So this is where Elon's going with this, right? The YouTube of share profile, the model that YouTube has used is amazing. So say if you get a 70, 30 cut, right? So say if you have a million viewers on your tweet, that's great. You know, if you have a million people that watch and see every one of your tweets, that's great because then you can leverage that and you can say, okay, hey, Tizers, why don't you put an ad as the first tweet, maybe a pinned tweet under my tweet. The first comment is a pinned advertisement or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just making up ideas here. And I've I thought about this a few a little bit, but how could you get advertisers involved? You could do a sponsor post. Pretty simple but you have to have the numbers in order to do that. Because if you if you post something and you get a bunch of replies and you get a bunch of people retweeting it, that's great, but you don't know how many people actually saw your post, how many eyeballs have been on your post. And Elon is stripping away all the bots and all of the users that don't exist. So those eyeballs that really view your post will be real people and not some scamming bots that are trying to sell you something on their own. So Elon said, December 9th, 2022, Twitter will soon start freeing the namespace of 1.5 billion accounts. These are obvious account deletions with no tweets and no login for years. So if they're not even active, there's no reason to keep them around, right? People are just sitting on this. It's kind of like the domain squatters. If you get a domain name, say if, you know, you, you get a domain that somebody wants, but you sit on it for 15 years and the wealth that you can earn from that could be astounding. You could sell it for millions of dollars in the future. That's what people did in the dot-com early days. They just bought the domains up, hundreds, thousands of domains so they could resell them. And that's they still do that. It's a huge market. And that's what people play or maybe have done with some of these accounts. So there's a lot of people that just signed up and then they're like, well, I don't even like Twitter. I don't know why I have a Twitter account or they don't know how to use the platform or they didn't really get into it. So all of those people are going to be gone. So the $44 billion, $45 billion acquisition of Twitter, it's kind of working out now. You know, you kind of see things uh, come into place now. Some of the some of the moves are being made. Elon gutted the company. Absolutely gutted the company. Half the people are gone now. Very slim lined company at this point. And also Elon wants people to work like crazy. He wants people to have startup hours because this is essentially a brand new company under Elon Musk. So the changes come as Musk is moving the company away from a, and which is regulating the speech of its users for political convenience or otherwise and toward a free exchange of ideas in the future. So he wants the people to be able to talk about whatever they want to talk about. But he also wants them to have a reason to do that. Because right now, what can you what can you really sell on Twitter? And most people are motivate, motivated by money and power. So if you have millions of followers, that's great. But what kind of power do you have on Twitter if you have millions of views on your tweet? Not really much at this point. Like, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you do. You do have a voice. But how can you leverage that into something where you can monetize it? That's what Elon's going for, right? So there's, you know, there's a few things going on there. And Elon is working hard to humanize Twitter at this point. You know, there's internal documents being leaked, and we're going to get into that in another podcast because there's a lot going on with that. So I have to prepare for that. Elon suspended users and reduced an account of, you know, a bunch of these posts, accounts with a bunch of these weird posts going on. It's a it's a really weird time for Twitter, but I believe Elon has the best interest of the user base in mind. And Elon's been releasing the Twitter files and it is, it's coming lewd on Twitter right now. People are going crazy for these things. So we'll have a little bit more information about that in the future in the next episode. But I want to touch on this first because this is the sort of the, the work for the future of uh, Twitter. So thanks for listening. If you're enjoying the show, make sure to hit the subscribe button on your podcast platform. I appreciate your time. I'll see you next time. Take care.